Hey everyone, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back. In this video, I'll walk you through my current portfolio. So this is only going to be a member only video. Before that, let me show you something. This is the portfolio performance against Nifty. And in the last one month, right? This is July 11th to today, August 11th. If you look at the portfolio performance, the one in the blue is portfolio and the one in the red is Nifty. If you look at that, Portfolio performance is 6.5% against Nifty minus 1%. I'm not sure if you're able to see, but let me call it out. 6.75, 6.7 approximately against minus 1. This is in the last one month. Let me take this to last two months. If I change this to last two months, portfolio performance is 22% against Nifty performance is 3.7. Let me change this to last three months. If I change this to last three months, portfolio performance is 30% against Nifty's performance 9%. So what I mean to say, my overall portfolio, when it is falling, you can notice this, when it falls, it falls fast. This is the election exit poll results and uh, the results day. And then when it raises, it raises really faster. So that is the advantage of having all the small caps that are really performing really well. And coming back to my portfolio, the lines number 2 to number 12 is dividend portfolio, which you already know. Generally, I don't disturb any of these. Most of these companies, I bought them when the dividend yield was around more than 5. Since the stock price is going up as the market is in the bull market, the dividend yield has come down, which is, which is fine because the share price is raising. Right? Let's skip this. This is all for dividends. I don't really care about these companies. Coming to the ones that is 13 to 39, if you notice closely, you will find I have cut down all my losers one by one. That will be the first step in anyone's portfolio that you should be doing in order to cut your losses short and let your runners win. You will not see most of the losses in the last three to four months. Everything is gone. I have slowly cut down and whatever is running up, whatever is going with the bull market, whatever companies only running up faster based on the nifty's movement only those companies right now exist ak polymers is in green bn radhi has produced fantastic results bradian morris is a green producing company given good results canary's automation is not moving much but still it is in green clara industries recently they have given bonus but the stock price has been like volatile it's going here and there so i want to give a little more time dw plastics has produced fantastic results Dhan Lakshmi Roto Spinners, Bangladesh issue company has been going to perform well. It has a good dividend yield. Since the time I bought, there is a not one single month the stock was in green. So I bought at the lowest point. It is going up all the time. GHL Textiles, I've created a live video recently. I bought because of the Bangladesh issue. GKYS, fine. It's a long term holding. Godavari Drugs, there is a big shortage of drugs in the US. That is why I've taken this company. Gujarat Intrex, recently it has gone up really well. Gujarat Timis Biosen, they have given bonus. After the bonus issue, the company has been like really firing up. Industan Adhesives, long term holding. Industan Adi Spicer did not produce good results. So I am looking to maybe exit this company. It's not yet um, finalized, but I'm looking at a point where the company is a stagnant, is a laggard in my portfolio. It's not been moving much. What my plan is, I don't worry about the loss. I invested 6.3, but my current value is 5.6. My strategy of investing is I look at the overall value. Today, my portfolio has come to 3 crores and 7 lakhs. As long as this overall portfolio is raising, I don't worry about booking losses in individual companies. For me, if I exit this company, Indusan Adi Spicer, this 5,60,000 can be invested into somewhere where it can produce more money rather than waiting for it to come back to my buy price. Right now, the stock price is 513. My buy price was 572 which is okay. IT cons does not need any introduction. The stock has been hitting upper circuit day after day. Ideal Industries is a industrial missionary company will do well in the long term. KPT Industries recently has given good results. The stock has been running in upper circuits. Capson Industry is one of my recent buy. The company actually packages liquid petroleum, gas and then distributes. So that is also one of the good companies that I have recently bought. Mazda Limited did not produce two good results for this quarter, but still the company will do well is what the actual price action is saying and the chart pattern is saying. Market is still giving importance to the company. Market is still thinking that this could be a one time off result, which is why the stock is trading in the range bound close to the 1300 mark. And then Volatex Solutions, 
a long term holding i just want to wait before making any exit decision regency fincorp again a long term holding i'll be holding this for like 2 or 3 years before making any investment decision shilp graves recently the results have come and uh, results have been okay we have to wait for the market to open to see how the market will react to the results but again i don't want to exit this right now i want to give it some more time sharda infra projects is a infrastructure based company gave the results the results is not too great again i want to give it some more time to see how it actually reacts southern magnesium produced very good results it's running on upper circuits vls finance is trading close to all time high the company is given a buyback memorandum for up to 10% of the outstanding shares and then given a good results also Vasundhara Science is a API manufacturing company. There is a record shortage of drugs in US. This could be one of the kicker for the company to run. Vikram Thermo again into Pharma API. That could also be a good runner into the foreseeable future. So right now, I am not looking to exit any one of these companies from 13 to 39. But it again will be dependent on the opportunity cost of money. If I find one company that can really make 5x or 10x into the next 2 to 3 years, I will not be hesitant to exit my holders, which is not moving. For example, Hindustan Hardy Spicer, and then Masta Limited is not moving, and then Silk Graves is not moving since a long time. So that is how I'll go with the flow. If it if I don't find a 5x or 10x, that means I don't have to do any restructuring as of now. I just have to give it some more time. So okay. So that is how my portfolio is like beating the market time after time. Okay. If you have any questions. Um, please leave it in the comments. I'll try to answer and then I'll upload this Excel sheet as usual to a folder where you can access it. Alright, that's all for this video. I'll meet you again. Thanks. Bye-bye and take care.